PCB Way is one of the leading PCB manufacturers out there and it is the manufacturer I use for my products. Now, if you're either a hobbyist and or looking to create a final product, PCB Way is going to be a really great choice with their 24 hour and also assembly services. So go ahead and check the links down below. Hey, what is up guys and welcome back. So in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at a premium stack from Hollybro. This is actually the Hollybro Mini uh, Tico. It's an F7 and it's the V3. Now you're like, what the hell is the different? They look almost identical. Well, there are some differences here. For one, it's using a different microcontroller unit, which is the F722, where previously it was using the F745. Now, does this change much? Not really, but it seems that we have more ports accessible on the newer version. And if we take a closer look at the board, we still have our onboard memory. We also do have a barometer, our on-screen display, and we also have a connector for either the DJI setup or the Cadex Vista setup, which is the HD setup. And they do provide everything. Now, I did noise test this and the results were actually pretty good for a 20 by 20. However, the results today are not going to be displayed, unfortunately. And you might be asking, why is that? Well, because I plugged in the USB drive into my Mac and it corrupted it for some reason because maybe I unplugged it without ejecting. So I'm going to have to retest it and I'll just do a separate video on the noise testing of this ESC with some other ones as well. But I can tell you this is by far one of the best 20 by 20 stacks if you're going to be doing some sort of full-fledged build. However, there's also a catch here. However, before we get into the catch, let's take a look at some of the accessories really quickly. Uh, the stack is going for around 88 bucks. This is the V3. I'll have it linked down below. So what do we get in the package? We get a wire for the Cadex Vista, which is really nice. We also get two wires for the DJI setup. We get a very long one. And we also get a very short one. However, if you take a look at the sticker here, this is really good that they've done this. Uh, it has a warning for the DJI. It says the DJI module does not take more than 4S. So if you put a 5S or a 6S, it's going to burn it. And why is that? Well, because again, this thing does not have a 9 volt regulator or an 8 volt regulator. So it's outputting raw battery voltage, whether it's going to be for your analog video transmitter or your HD setup. Now, I think Cadex Vista can take 6S as far as I remember, but just double check that because I, I, I still don't recommend doing that. But if you can, then you can kind of get away with it. So keep that in mind. And these wires are very long, so that's kind of nice as well. We also do get two wires for the ESC. We get a really short one and we also get a very long one. You'd be like, why the hell would we need a long one? Well, if you have a double stacking solution, you can have this in the middle and you could have this in the back and you could kind of see where I'm going with this. So you kind of do that if you needed that. So that's really nice here. And for capacitor, they give us a 1000 microfarad 35 volt low ESR capacitor. This is definitely going to be needed, especially uh, if you're going to be running a 6S setup. E even a 4S, I'd still recommend you place this on. However, looking at the posting online, it seemed like it was using the metal fits. However, when I received it, there is no metal fits. So I don't know what's up with that. Um, so yeah, just keep an eye on that. However, onboard filtration seems to be decent for what it actually is as a mini. And again, there's also one more catch. This would have been an absolute beast here. If you take a closer look at the holes, they're actually M3. For a 20 by 20, or well, just about every frame out there is using M2s, which is two millimeter holes, and these are three. So this will not go into your frame. So I don't know what's up with that, Holly bro. Now it could be an easy fix uh, if they actually acknowledge this, which is first of all, the ESC is okay. You kind of get away with it with putting some rubber dampeners, but the flight controller, the best way to fix this would be to send some extra uh, rubber grommets that convert this M4 instead of an M3. The M it will just basically convert the M4 to an M2, which is an easy fix. Now they just, yeah, you just have to keep that in mind or probably purchase some some from somewhere online. If I find some, I'll have some link down below. So that's something you want to keep into consideration when purchasing this. The last thing you want to see is that, oh, damn it, I can't put this into my frame. So uh, very important you take note of that as well. Now, I was planning on putting this on a build, actually my upcoming build. However, I need to find some rubber dampeners that will fit M2s because if not, I won't be able to place this on my upcoming iFlight build. Um, however, the ESC I would really love to use here. Now, talking about the ESC, what we have here 
here is this is rated up to 45 amps Beale Holly 32 it's using f3 microcontroller units filtration is pretty decent for a mini stack and not only that the power board is separated from the logic board if you actually take a closer look we could actually see that and this design is proven itself very reliable so far um and yeah it's kind of nice to see that that the going this route if i should say and um this is just insane engineering here you can see it's super tiny everything here if you take a closer look i mean i don't know how close you could see but those are super tiny resistors that's just insane here um to fit all this i wish they would have utilized a bit more of the space for more capacitors especially in this area here but maybe it was probably difficult and they really cared more about the power delivery um but yeah it would still be nicer to see a bit more capacitor i'm pretty sure they could have put more caps right in here between the power and the negative you could see kind of where it cuts out in the middle right there so you, you could probably put like another two right here but again not really a big problem and we can tell that the pads are actually edge plated so this is a very expensive process and it's a very nice process to see here uh, we can see that it's all over the place so the copper power delivery is going to be really great especially knowing uh hollybro here so this would have been my old time recommended one due to the performance i saw in the noise testing for kind of a five inch setup uh, but due to the reason of the hole size and also the lack of a voltage regulator um, That that is just a bit of a letdown, but for 88 bucks You're still getting a pretty premium stack here um, If you could live without an 8 and a 9 volt regulator Then uh, you should be good and if you're able to combat the issue of the three millimeter holes here for a 20 by 20 setup Then you're kind of good to go here now if you needed help with the connection setup guide They have a really good manual I don't think I really need to make a very long video to show you how to connect everything because it just uh, just take your time and it's a very simple process with this board and well that's really it guys everything's linked down below if you can check those out it's a great support channel and i'll see you guys in the next one peace